Okay, so this book is Night of the Living Vidiots, and this is a uh, trade paperback collecting a bunch of short comics, uh, mostly dark humor, sci-fi, horror comics I did uh, from probably 2004 to 2010. Um, uh, right before I moved down to LA to work on Adventure Time. And, uh, I mean, I went into stuff and fixed stuff up since then, uh, and added color to everything. And this book was originally a, uh, a book I, I, I did a, uh, Kickstarter for, and I was able to raise the money and print it, uh, myself, so it's completely self-published. Um, and it is, uh, uh, Night of the Living Vidiots is a collection of dark, funny tales featuring TV zombies, hot rod horror, big kaiju monsters, alcohol friends. Uh, Sci-fi horror and comedy melted together and topped with a Twilight Zone twist. And uh, so, yeah, this is the book. Uh, here's a kind of cast of characters for the book. Here's a table of contents. So here's all the stories. I think there's 124 pages long. This is the, the titular story, uh, Night of Living Vidiots, which was originally printed in Popcon Volume 4 for Image Comics. And uh, what appears here is an expanded version. It has a few extra pages, and I probably went in and fixed a bunch of things, fixed spelling errors, and rewrote a few things, uh, messed around with the color a little bit. Um, and this is kind of about uh, television zombies, uh, start to take over, and uh, the uh, main characters are trying to not become TV zombies and figure out a way to stop the spread of this awful plague. Um, and, you know, it's kind of a take on a classic zombie story, maybe too, a little too inspired by Big Trouble Little China. Um, yeah, it was a good experience to like kind of play around with comics, show good color and comics, because uh, it's not often you get to do a color comic. Uh, this is, uh, on this side is Frothy Beverage Man, who's kind of like the Kool-Aid Man, except he's a pitcher of beer, and he kind of comes into uh, people's lives and creates trouble for them. Um, and, uh, these stories aren't supposed to, I, I know when I describe them, they sound like they're like these moral tales, but really they're, they're comedy and uh, not intended to be anything more than that. Uh, this comic, Life's a Drag, uh, was originally printed in Tales of Hot Rod Horror, Volume 1, as a black and white story, and I kind of took it, it started out as like a... Uh, a 16 page story it might have even been 12 pages and I expanded it into a 30 plus page story um, and added a bunch of stuff to it and then split it into three parts and colored it and so what we have here is an incredibly expanded version of the story um, with a lot of new stuff in it and um, yeah it's kind of like dark kind of hot rod gothic horror uh, starring a wolf man who drives a uh, old beater car hot rod from the 50s um, more frothy beverage man this is him buying alcohol for children or underage kids uh, and then this story is uh, stars these characters that are from another comic I did called the babysitter which takes place in Japan and this comic is very inspired by uh, this 70s cartoon called Get a Robo, or yeah, Get a Robot, or Get a Robo, and uh, it's basically like giant robots versus giant monsters, except in this story, the what they're fighting is a, a monster who is the, uh, he's the embodiment of Mother Nature, so they're basically, they have to save corporate Earth from Mother Nature, so, um, 
yeah, and uh, when I did this comic, I kind of, I created these pencil textures that I used as layered textures to create kind of tones and give it kind of a different feel. Uh, and since I was coloring this all myself, I was, well, I got my brother to help me too, but, uh, you know, I was trying to think of easy ways to do the color and still have the interesting. So you'll see a few of the comics in this book are very, like, they're almost monochromatic comics, uh, like this one, uh, Mang Fish, which is, uh, inspired by a, uh, uh, book written by the guy who wrote Jaws. Uh, he, I guess a lot of the books he wrote are based in New England and involve underwater monsters. And one he did was called White Shark, which was about a Nazi super soldier who could, who could live underwater and uh, ends up terrorizing Martha's Vineyard or Newfoundland or something like that. You know, like it's basically Jaws with a Nazi super soldier. Uh, but I was in a band and we took a road trip and uh, on the road trip we bought a book on tape and it was White Shark and it was really bad and funny and we kind of developed this character called Mangfish on that road trip and then I made some comics about Mangfish. Uh, this is The Secret Origin of Mar Mario Bandini. Uh, this is actually maybe the fourth version of this story, I drew it a bunch of times, uh, but it's about this scientist, Mario Bandini, who invents a a jet hat and uh, on the trial run of the jet hat it ends up pulling his head off of his body so then for the rest of the comic he's a flying head uh, he's going in through and solving crimes and uh, stopping uh, bad things from happening uh, more frothy beverage man uh, here's life's a drag part two and uh, you know working color to you can play around with different palettes and stuff like that so I tried to do that as much as possible um, and this part the wolfman kind of gets a little romantic interest and also gets mixed up in a uh, Cthulhu monster shenanigans There's more Frothy Beverage Man, and then this is a story about uh, this teen goes to the prom with uh, Mangfish. So this is kind of a story of Mangfish is like this disgusting, creepy predator who takes this girl to the prom, but the girl turns out to be kind of more than Mangfish can deal with, and uh, hilarity ensues, maybe. I mean, I guess it depends on how you define hilarity. Um, very mang 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 that mangical comic. I don't know if that. Anyway, uh, this is Death Shirt. This comic was inspired by uh, my friend John, who wore a sweater over his head. He had a black sweater, and he looked like the Grim Reaper. And so, Death Shirt was born. And so this is about Death Shirt trying to scare people, uh, but he's Death Shirt's terrible at it. Uh, and then this is another comic that appeared in. Uh, Tales of Hot Rod Horror, Volume 1, in black and white, and this is a slightly expanded, colorized version. Uh, and this is kind of like a play off of those old EC comics where somebody makes a deal with the devil to get the girl or to get money, and uh, it doesn't go well for them in the end. Uh, but this is played for laughs, of course. Uh, here's a more frothy beverage man. And then the final section of Life's a Gas. Um, yeah. And then, uh, and then this page is kind of like a thank you to all the people who supported the Kickstarter. And here's the end of the comic book. With me, with my, with me, with my head on the platter. And uh, I guess they're collecting the garbage, as you can probably hear. I'm probably not gonna cut that out. And this is the back cover. And then, as with most of my books, the covers connect together into this, you know, I try to fit as many characters in there as possible. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Night of Living Vidiots. Uh, thanks for visiting. 
and watching the video and taking the tour with me. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and you can get the book on my uh, website if you want it. All right, thank you, bye.